My name is Dennis Ouellet. I'm from Tangent, Alberta. 10,000 acre farm. Oh, this part of Alberta, it's, it's a huge challenge in the springtime. Wet, it can be wet, very sandy soil. It could be very wet soil in the springtime. Two weeks max for seeding, a very small window, very, very hilly. We were, we're right along the Smoky, so we got lots of hills. Traction is a big problem. He could not seed his hill, so basically he had to run a cycle. Yeah, we'd have to lift up, go up the hill, come down the hill and seed. So it'd, it'd take 10, 15 minutes more every time. Over the years, we've been running tracks and duels. When it comes to our track unit, the initial cost was minimum 100,000 more. And then it's the upkeep on these tracks. We're, we got like 2,000 hours on these tracks now, and it's starting to get, it's starting to cost me money. He says, it's great, it's nice, it's not tires though, and it does like to get stuck. I wanted to get rid of my duels to go to singles, mainly to run the cart. So like during harvest, uh, the four wheel drive tractors with the duels, they gotta come snug up tight to the, uh, the grain truck. It's just too wide, and then my grain cart, it's too close to the truck. It's compaction too, right? Like the duels, you, know, you see them tracks in a wet year. You see it during the seeding, you see it all year. The yield loss, your yield loss is huge. We have an answer for that, and that's the LSW. Basically, it's the performance tire for tractors for the farm. So I did my research online, and then we started watching YouTube videos on these tires and the rave reviews about them. Our first LSW experience was on a spray we bought last year. After a couple days of running these 800s through a crop, you don't even see where you've ran. Like it's, uh, the recovery time on a crop is huge compared to my old 710. The spray that I had before it, which was lighter, smaller, but a lighter sprayer. We we're running a way heavier, way bigger sprayer. And these 800s are awesome on that sprayer. It's the best possible way to get the least amount of compaction, the most traction, fuel economy, and just overall savings on the farm. That's where I think it's gonna shine. I mean, a $400,000 tractor compared to an $800,000 tractor, your cost per hour, the tires will pay for themselves. Because we put 300 hours on a tractor every year on a grain cart. So I put that on a quad track, figure that out, your, uh, your cost per hour compared to this tractor. I mean, it's probably almost running half the cost. And the fact that the at single 1400 LSW would narrow in to make his grain cart work, that much more simplicity on the farm, that much more faster because it is a very, very important part of harvest. This is gonna be a perfect fit for my grain cart. This year, we, for the first time ever, we've actually climbed the hill. Not an issue at all with the LSW at all, no. Had never been done before in the whole time that he had owned the farm. And when the tractor got to the top and cycled down to go back down and seat again, Dennis phoned me and said, sell them duels. I don't think I'll ever own another dual tractor myself. The quad track's gonna sit this fall, I guess, in the grain cart. We're gonna run this, this tractor and I'm getting rid of my duels. I'm, we're done with duels on this farm for sure. That's why we've went to these LSWs. Less compaction, better traction. I think they're a way nicer riding tire. All around, better performing tire is what we found. We're very, very happy with what we've seen so far. It's a totally different tractor, I think.